Conversation buffer allows for storing messages and then extract the messages in a variable. So we will save this conversation in messages and then we can extract this conversation in a variable. Let's see that from the line chain. dot memory import conversation buffer memory now i'm going to make an object of this conversation buffer memory and save in the variable memory here And in this object memory, I'm going to add some conversations that we are going to extract in a variable later. So I will write here memory. From this, I will call save context. And inside this, we will have two dictionary. First is going to be input, that is the human message. And then the second one is output, that is the AI message. So let's make first one input and as a human i'm going to ask hello then the ai will reply outputs hello i am an ai assistant and then let us execute this code now if i print this memory so i have this conversation here let me add few more conversations i will copy it from here and then paste it here i will write here how are you and here i will reply i am fine thanks how are you and then if I print memory, it will say both this conversation. And let me copy this again to add some more conversation. And now let's see, I will write here. What do you do? And it will say I am an AI assistant who tries to help people with their problems and if i print this memory object so you see that we have all the conversations saved in this object memory and this is where the uh, conversation buffer comes so we can save this uh, conversation in a variable and uh, we can load it so i will write here memory and from this i will call the method load variables or load memory variables and then i will pass this empty dictionary here and now here in the output you see that in our history we have loaded all this conversation so it starts with human hello ai hello i am an ai assistant Human, how are you? AI assistant, I am fine, thanks. How are you? Human, what do you do? AI, I am an AI assistant who tries to help people with their problems. So we have all this conversation added in this object memory that can be loaded as a variable using this load memory variables function. This is about conversation buffer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.